I am the Red Cyclone! Da! Kyoryu Sentai! Jurenja! 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 Densetsu no Senshi Tachi yo! Jurenja! Jurenja! Toki wo kakeru kibo wo! Hello, welcome to another episode of the It Gets Better Rest Square podcast. This is your episode for 11319. I'm your host, Louis Beans, and I'm here with Merc with the Mic. What is up? What is up? Chilling, chilling, man. A lot of stuff going on. Um, a lot of unexpected things happening in the world of gaming. Um, a few funny things happen in pop culture. I want to bring them up, but like, man, what happened? <laughs> what happened, dude? Oh man! So, How did they get this bad? How did they do this? Please, please, you know what I'm talking about. How did they get this bad? So go ahead, and start it off. Uh, so if you haven't heard, if you've been living under the video game rock, then you would not know that Bungie has officially split with Activision, and they're keeping Destiny. Holy shit! How did that happen? like that's their kid and they're the mother yeah it's like wow <laughs> activision is mother get automatically gets custody unfortunately activision which is interestingly enough one of america's oldest video game companies yeah is they have a terrible reputation yeah yeah they pretty much do they have a terrible rep- reputation now for just being you know the most corporate money grubbing ads as ads um just not good dlc you know what, what do they call it microtransactions at the yin yang yeah that type of stuff that like so their reputation over the years has steadily declined right next to ea yeah whereas EA people just they don't crazy. like them at all it's like they've at least in the past these two companies like with the games they personally developed they weren't ruining franchises but unfortunately and this is not to talk shit but star wars is in the hands of va and we saw what happened with battlefront yep no bueno um mass effect is officially dead (laughs) they they don't even call it that they call it anthem now (laughs) (laughs) so that's not good um on the activision side it's just the dlc and the um what is it the microtransactions have been a really bad thing also hey you remember that really cool game that everybody liked named titanfall well they've got real problems with this company um i think their studio is locked up in some type of development house so that's not good so we may never get to see a third game yay no uh ea owns Titanfall. oh is it EA? yeah 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 respawn studios was made off of the guys oh they didn't want that one to put out this game they were the guys that were the head of infinity war War. i see i'm confusing the companies thank you for all safe no no, the the crazy thing with Titanfall was that they weren't getting priority yeah that's the whole thing that's the whole deal so time for all safe who knows when that's the thing. Who knows? Oh, they are getting a three. Good. They are Good. getting a three. And one thing that's great about Timefall, besides all those things with the whole like micro, the EA and the microtransaction shit, is that they weren't not even part of that. Good. The uh, respawn works on their own terms with EA, and that was the deal that they they signed with EA. I remember they earned some type of clout because they were a different studio that was something really popular before. Because they were like part of Duty. Yeah, they, they did a call. They, well, they were part of... Originally, they were the creators... They, they were somebody they, really big, though, in the shooter yeah. world. Originally, they were the creators of Medal of Honor. Okay, thank you. And then they went to Activision and started Affinity Ward, which brought in Call of Duty... Uh, See, that's why I'm confused. Modern Warfare. Infinity Ward is Activision, yeah. right? Which one is which one is still over there? It's, they're still there. So, Infinity Ward is Activision. 
but the guys, the two leads of Infinity War two left. Leads, they left, and they're the Titanfall people, right? Yeah, and they're the ones that Thank made you. Respawn okay. Studios. Thank you. See, like, I knew I had a reason to be confused. I was just I'm not sure why. <coughs> yeah. But thank you. Okay. Yeah, they, they're the head behind Respawn Studios, which is owned by EA. Okay. So, damn, they're really closely tied together, man, aren't they? Um, but anyway, the thing you're talking about is Bungie leaving Activision. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I saw this coming because they're main tie was destiny and uh, destiny 2 didn't fail right no it didn't fail it actually was very it did better than the first one so i mean what the hell i think I'm... it was bungie going ahead of time because right now there's a lot of issues going on with 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 activision as a whole as a company i mean yeah well the fact that i have to start off saying that they don't have the best reputation anymore yeah. is probably you know an indicator my extent of business with actually dealing with activision is hey man all i know is when you put real money into a game people from korea try to steal your account yep. that's all i know so my experience is trying to play diablo 3 when they first launched with the real money auction house and a few months in mind you that game launched broken and people want to forget that I was there for the for the dumpster fire that was the launch of Diablo 3 on PC. Okay. Holy shit, it was bad. I didn't play it to like the... Huh. Yeah, smarter person you were. I was trying <laughs> to get in. I was trying to be the one that was like, okay, this is this is a big fucking deal, man. You know, Diablo's a real thing, man. It, you know, you, you never played one or two. I mean, you've played two, but not your own, right? So you want to get down on the bottom floor, right? You want to start from the, from the beginning, from from scratch, fresh. But everybody else, before everybody else, because it was PC first, right? Like, let's do it. Yeah. And then you can't play the game because the servers are only online and the servers are there. And, <laughs> like, people were immediately boosting prices and shit. And just, there's all types of weird, just stuff I wasn't used to not being in the PC world. Yeah. And then the Real Money Auction House came and so did the gold sellers and all that. And it was just a very not... It didn't stay too bad because I played with like the Giant Bomb group. Like yeah. they had a with the website, there was a bunch of people playing from there. Yeah. Uh -oh. Look at that. Um, oh, yeah. my phone is running. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. got you. But anyway, like I was saying, like yeah, man, like it wasn't the best experience when it came to customer service. They was pretty much like, hey, man, was you making uh characters and selling them all out? Like what? the fuck they gonna do oh man somebody took your shit what, what you gonna do about it now nah, i see you man and that was basically it they just told me it happened and then i had to you know call them and and, and make sure that it wasn't me on their end and then once we cleared that up it was just like there was nothing else we could do hey you can't use that account anymore i'm like what And we're going to take a little break right here just to remind you to follow us on Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, also on SoundCloud. What we do is we have this podcast, the Icky Spitter Rice Rare podcast. Um, we also have the Wrestling Babble podcast that's hosted by Merc with the Mic, who's a frequent guest on my show. And that should be on Merc with the Mic on SoundCloud. We post those on YouTube as well. So you can check the Merc with the Mic podcast out on his YouTube channel, which is also Merc with the Mic. And also you can catch the It Gets Better Life Square podcast as well as the various other playthroughs on the Red Cyclone YouTube channel. Thank you. So, boo. That's all I gotta say. Um, but like, as far as everything else goes, I, I again, I stopped playing Destiny at one. Yeah, I, I played two. I, I was on board when it first came out, part two. Cause I did like the game. It's just that it, it, it's con it's time consuming to a point that I can't do. Cause then it requires me to play with people, and I don't have time for that. <laughs> that sense. Because it's no hard for me to jump on in the game with somebody unless I know for a fact they're going to be on kind of thing. 
you know what it was the first game kind of soured me on the the setup yeah like the loop that the get that destiny wants you to go in yeah and i didn't i don't know if they evolved that loop and made it more fun because at one point it just really became if you don't want to play versus mode it really is just either you're grinding um you're grinding to go to raids or you're grinding uh what was those strikes yeah and then i know like what was it like one day a week or something there was something week there was weeklies i think there were where they did all the crazy types of modifiers to the game but you know uh, it just felt like if you weren't grinding you weren't getting the best stuff obviously yeah and if you weren't doing the raids was required extreme cooperation and it's like then you really weren't getting the stuff to stay competitive to use for the the i forgot what they were called they weren't strikes they were really like they were revamped versions of strikes with like harder uh stipulations i forgot what they were called but like you would use the guns you got on those and that's yeah. what would basically feed the loop of you get the good stuff from those to take to do the raid again to possibly get some other stuff from the raid because the raid had a bunch of different rewards maybe like three or four and like an armor set or something like that so it fed itself but if you didn't find a good group you were basically struggling to even get one of these things done yeah that's true and, and was it, it was kind of parts too as well like, yeah, yeah, that's like what a, I'm a good group. That's what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. That's that's a game for a group. For, for you, the raids, group, yeah. For the raids, six people. Able to, that's, yeah, that's a lot. And then they also have to all have be able to play. Like honestly, the shit. Like if you had to go, then you're fucked, and that's the end of the raid. Oh yeah, the real life equivalent yeah. part of it is that yeah, you can't stay because you know real life stuff is going. Yeah. Yeah. That was my big thing with the, the, that game is the fact that I I couldn't commit to timings like I, I i work i work at night so losing my time to play is losing in the morning or before i go to work and it came to a point that i couldn't really play mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i was like ah, i'm not gonna even try anymore <laughs> yeah i don't know Got something there. about see the, 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 the two and its season is just i keep seeing too much stuff that is from the first one in terms of the practices and stuff and like the, the the things I want from Destiny, yeah. I feel like maybe I didn't want that. I don't know. Maybe the first game is just it's one and done. It'll never be the same. Yeah. So like I what I wanted was like additions to the first game. You know. Yeah. Streamline a lot of the stuff in the first game, not turn it into anything else. Uh, so we'll see. But there's gonna be a three. Yep. Yeah. But as of now, it is official that. Three will not happen under the Activision Blizzard banner. That's yeah. it. Adios. I mean, there's some articles detailing some stuff, but it's like this is legal. I don't think there's any like concrete like stuff that's gonna say exactly what happened. It's more or less hearsay. They're gonna be like, oh, this is the reason why you think you know Bungie is unhappy with them, but but I don't know if they can even say. I think this just happened. Two days I ago. think it's a big, bigger story than it's that there than it, it really is, and they just haven't said it yet. Mm -hmm. This had a, this has to be a reason why they order some. Just like okay, no, no more. Because I see the statement, and it's incredibly legal speak. It's very uh, plain, matter of fact, and not offensive. I'll, I'll read it to you. It's very short. Looking ahead, we're excited to announce plans for Activision to transfer publishing rights for Destiny to Bungie. With our remarkable Destiny community, we are ready to publish our own, on our own, while Activist, Activision will increase their focus on own IP projects. That's basically the extent of what they said. Hey, man, we got to go. <laughs> That's it. But no, Activ Activision and Blizzard are, are under an investigation for laundering money and shit like that too. So look, there's a bigger picture of things going on right now. See, in Activision. this is why people are saying for Blizzard to cut ties with them. Yeah. It, how I, I forget how long the merger actually has been in effect. Well, they well the the Activision Blizzard merger was the point that. It was Activision Blizzard. That was the name of the company. No, no. 
I mean, when did the merger happen? I kind of remember. It was like five years ago. No, it's older than that. It's older than that, so it's probably that's me too. It's like two years ago. Oh, that's me one. It's like no, with Bungie three, was three, the Bungie four five. Bungie. No, 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 not Bungie, not Bungie. I'm talking about Activision Blizzard. Um, no, that's that was not, before. That was before, before the our... Diablo three. It is, yes. It was around that time. So that's what 2012, 2011. Yeah, it was during Diablo three and the last. Yeah, it was during Diablo three because Overwatch was a still was under Activision Blizzard. So it wasn't even a, yeah okay so those things yeah. weren't even thing yet. Yeah. So it was during Diablo three. I mean, all right, give it one more year. <laughs> Let it be ten years or something, yeah. and then dissolve. Cause this, I don't know. What do you think? I, like I said, I kind of avoid certain some of these companies' games yeah. on purpose. Yeah. Like I just refuse to play them because I don't want to give these guys money. Yeah, it's true. And well, then again, Activision right now there's not a lot of games besides like the Spyro collection and Crash that I actually want to buy, but those are owned by Activision. Mm-hmm. Our PlayStation, Activision, Activision owns Spyro and Crash. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, but- but besides those, like, there's no other game. Like, I'm not a Call of Duty fan, so I, I never pick up Call of Duty. Um, Overwatch I had from the start, but Overwatch I rarely play. I got Diablo because it was dirt cheap, and that's the only reason why I bought it on, bought it on the Switch. Yeah, I haven't bought a game since Destiny. Yeah. Specifically, that was from there. I don't... I think it was Diablo 3 PC first, and then it was Destiny, and that's it. Like, yeah. I'm trying to think of the other stuff I bought, but they they don't typically make the types of games I like anyway. They don't yeah. do character actions, so I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. You know? They don't do uh they don't make fighting games of their own. I think well, they, they probably used, publish. Well they used to do a lot of the Marvel games and that was probably the last thing you probably uh, played yeah, I, who well. I don't know if anybody wants to play those. Well, they did Marvel Ultimate Alliance. No no no, not though. That's not the fighting games. Oh, they didn't. They, remember the? Did they do the fighting games from Marvel? No. Remember those really bad 3D ones? It was yeah, it was EA. That was EA. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, I didn't touch them. Remember either. Marvel Nemesis? Yes. Remember that stuff? Yeah. That was no boy. Bueno. That was EA actually. So again, just so again, yeah. I'm trying to think. So maybe the last game was before that was uh, uh, Ultimate Alliance two. Yeah. That was sad. That's a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Transformer games. That was the last one that I See, really I didn't, yeah. to. I didn't. The, the War for Cybertron, those were so good. See, I didn't actually mess with those. I did hear they were good, though. But I didn't mess yeah, with those. They were really good. Great soundtracks, great characters. And everything. It's good. But see, they did them wrong, too. Yep. If you, if you go back a few, I think it was a year or so. Yeah, during the, let them Deadpool. during the Deadpool game. Yeah, but they didn't they let them go after that? No, it was during the making of the Deadpool game. What? Yep. So they got, they they, they got let go half the High Noon Studios during the making of the Deadpool. Game. That was the company that they left that they just destroyed was High Noon Studios. Ooh. No. Nope. Yeah. Okay. And so that's why, like, sometimes Deadpool doesn't feel complete is the fact that they don't oh, have enough time to fully complete the understood. game. Wow. Even though it was a, still a fun game, it's just it was a, a complete game. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I didn't really get to go through that. That's fun. Okay. That's a fun game. If you like Devil May Cry, you love Deadpool. It, it was an easy game to play. It was I played the demo. Yeah. I played the demo. You got a really good laugh out of it. It was still like, interesting, fun, but yeah, it had its problem. And then uh, the two Transformer games were great: Wolf of Cybertron and um, the other one. But it was two parts. Uh, it was like the beginning of Optimus Prime kind of shit. It was based on the story, The War Within. Mm-hmm. And they were really good games. They they played like Unreal. Unreal Tournament. Yeah, they played really? like that. Yeah. Wow, I used to play Unreal Tournament. I forgot which one it was. The it one was, I was on Dreamcast. Yeah, they played like Unreal <laughs> Tournament, but they they used uh, the Unreal Engine. But they they played like Unreal Tournament, and that you could transform. So that was the difference. Okay, gotcha. And they were they were good games. Well, R.I.P. High Moon Studios, right? Yep, yep. High noon is not too noon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, uh, Resident Evil demo is out. Resident Evil 2. Oh, the remake? Yes. Uh, looks creepy as fuck. 
<laughs> I got to see one person go through it, decide know what it was, and I was like, oh, yeah. it's that. It's basically the the Leon uh, police station demo that you've been seeing for a good long while. I don't know if Mr. X is in there. I think he is in there secretly. You have to find a way to get to him. Okay. Um, and I think there are a few hidden things in there. But I, I did remember seeing like there was some codes in the lockers and stuff, which I guess like, that's just an added touch because when I think back to the original Resident Evil, there were no locks on those lockers. <laughs> they were just open. So I imagine like they put goodies in there, I guess, because they actually have the little, you know, you can scroll and actually try to do the combinations and stuff. Yeah. So I wonder where you can find those. Um, little nods and stuff. Somebody pointed out that one of the statues in the beginning has some developers like in joke on it, which is pretty funny. Like, so I, I'm glad to hear that they are throwing in all types of stuff. And this is not a super serious you know because they even show tofu in the last trailer so this is straight up resident evil 2. yep my only question is now this is 2019 will they actually put in akuma from that april fool's joke i wish they would or they'll make it an april fool's joke (laughs) i'm just saying that would be the ultimate secret just if they put in akuma um talking about capcom games double may cry they said this is the longest campaign in the series well, I mean, it makes sense because they put in, um, I don't know if you know about the, the, the co-op in the game. Yeah. It has drop in, drop out where you just, either you can, the way they framed it sounds interesting. Yeah. Uh, as you go through the story mode in the MC5, um, if somebody else, I don't, I don't think it's specifically on your list, okay. but if they play through that area, the you can the way the game is is that there are sections where all three of the characters are on screen so you can have somebody else's data playing as dante so meaning you can be playing as nero and dante is like off in a corner doing his thing but the memory of you know the other person that played this level it's kind of like the ghost data i don't know if you play the ghost data in tekken and stuff like mario Yes, the racing stuff. Yeah, yeah that's basically like the, the easiest equivalent is like yeah. you know, this takes the path you went through. To get and it through. takes the path they went through, but you're still going through your own path. But the the data though is gonna be the fight data. Yeah. So that means they'll be doing the combos the other person did. Yeah. Technically. Or it'll just straight up be somebody else, which I don't think they make it clear. I'm not sure. Okay. And they said they want to hide that. I'm not. I don't know. That sounds interesting. I just wonder if you'd be fucked up because. You imagine some asshole comes in your room and just does some shitty ass move over and over again <laughs> and you're like how did you beat the level doing one thing that doesn't do any damage all he did was taunt like how did you do that <laughs> Fuck. so i wonder if there can be some some type of abuse yeah <laughs> i don't know i don't know people it's gonna be interesting what they do but it looks yeah. it's looking i'm interested in playing it i did not was not crazy about the demo but that was only one character so i'm not judging by that one character Mm-hmm. So I'm waiting for the full like being able to play as Dante and the other characters that are in it. So let's we'll see what for they do. Full demo for us too, man. PS- um, they said demo, that yeah. the next demo is in February. Oh man, shit. Um, and uh, they didn't say who's gonna star or anything like that, but it's also it's going on PS4 this time. All right. Well, listen. At least they said there's gonna be one. I mean, if it comes out right after Resident Evil, like my attention's not gonna be there. <laughs> Stop it. Um, another thing, um, crazy, uh, Dragon Dogma just got announced for the Switch as well. Oh, really? It's been a while. So it's one thing I want to say about the Switch that, that they easily get you is the fact that they release these old ass games mm-hmm. for sixty dollars. That game is sixty. They they sell them for a regular price. If it's a brand, if they do a HD style of renting or if it's a remake mm-hmm. of it, it's like forty to fifty dollars. Supposed to be. Oh yeah, did you hear Final Fantasy um ten and ten two getting yeah. a four K release and a uh switch release? Yep. So I, saw that I had some words with, with a friend of mine earlier about that. I was like, I'm tired of this shit. That one <laughs> officially broke the camel's back, and I'll tell you why. Because that game was made specifically to be remade for Vita and PS3, right? Yep. And so if you bought that on a digital service, you had to buy it again. <laughs> but 
mind you, there's no guarantee you're going to be playing it in 4K. So what the fuck? Like, let me have it. Yeah. Uh, I don't like that one. Yeah. That one I don't like. And you know what? They made a Zone of the Enders. Uh, well, I think they made a 4K edition of that as well. Yeah. I still have that in the shrink wrap on PS3. Yeah. What the, what's the point? <laughs> I shouldn't have bought it. I really shouldn't have bought it. I should have just waited. Like, ah. Uh, boo. Yeah, that's, that's what they're doing. Like, Nintendo's, uh, yo, they do it a lot. They they just, I don't, but then again, I'm a sucker and I'm not buying it. Like, the Mario for Wii U, okay. New Super Mario oh, Bros. Wii U, yeah. they just made it for the Switch as well. So you can actually play the New Super Mario Bros. on the Switch and it, it has new characters, it has all the DLC, it has all that stuff. But, mm-hmm. like, again, I never got to play this Mario because on the Wii U, I got it later on, so this is a game I didn't even get. It okay. was like Smash Brothers and, um, Twilight Princess and shit like that. Okay. Okay. Um, Say that again? <laughs> Just cutting you out, right? Just cutting you out. It sounds like the aliens hijacked your signal. Yeah, yeah like the. Wait, do you want to re plug? Yeah, we're not. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Did you have yeah. to fight that guy? The Verizon? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I had to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. so the, the Nintendo game came out and it actually annoyed the shit out of me. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. But I bought it, so it's my fault. <laughs> See, no, I, I wouldn't even get on you or Nintendo for that one. And I'll tell you why. Because we know that the platform didn't sell that well. We know it was a failed platform. It's true. The other thing is, I'm only mad at the digital releases of these of these games. It's like, why is it that if I own it on your digital platform that still exists from five years ago, if you make another version of the same game and don't do more work, why do I have to pay for another one? That's I need a discount. I, that, yeah. I don't want it for free. I get that. I get that. Yeah. But if you, this is not spyro where they completely remade the game this is not crash this is aged this is the 4k stuff this is the stuff that people say beware of yeah don't give it a pass and now they're abusing it that i don't that's the only thing the ones where they don't do any more work i don't like it's just a remake it's just a re-release it's a remake of a remake that sucks like only musha i think it's just a re-release of the game it's not even a but that's the thing only musha is a re is a remake partially of a game that hasn't been out since i don't know 2000 maybe yeah and it's like it's it missed almost this okay it missed two generations basically because yeah. this is this is not a ps4 game let's not even kid ourselves so it missed two generations so i wouldn't even get mad and then guess what i saw the pre-order price it's only 20 dollars. what the hell yeah, it's so if you know th- that's the thing that kills me is the inconsistent pricing as well yeah it's like because i know capcom as well is guilty of doing that too of charging full price or 40 50 dollars for hd remakes that they made last year or two yeah. years ago that i still don't like that practice gotta do something about that you gotta make them all do work that's it they all have to be like crash bandicoot or nothing yeah. start from the ground up if you want to bring it back <laughs> Because I want a new Zone of the Enders. I don't yeah. care if Kojima doesn't care. <laughs> He's busy with Death Stranding. I don't care. He's going to be busy with that game to next year. Oh, my God. He is officially trying to be the Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. <laughs> the Kingdom Hearts 3 of this generation, isn't he? Yep. He's like, nah, don't worry. Just wait. We need more graphics. Well, Norman Reedus has got Graves coming in. It's like, Jesus, man. Yep. Leave him in. Leave him in. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, a lot of stuff like Nintendo. They have a lot of Wait, wait. It's, it's giving me issues again. I can't hear you, man. Is it again, Mark? Yeah. No. It's still, uh, what do you call that? Like, the, the aliens are coming down. You hear me now? I can hear the siren clearer than you. That's unfortunate. It gives me like the robot tones. Okay. 
Just crack on it. Uh, pop it on, pop back in. Or maybe you gotta uh, um, pop the mic on, pop it back in. Yeah, it will just like fully go off. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Yeah. yeah. If you gotta, re like, how long does it take to reboot it? Because I don't like um, it. Um, yeah. Where you at? Um, let's see. So, I'm gonna let Mark deal with that, but go on to the next thing. Keep it positive. Uh, World Combat 11 characters and gameplay will be revealed next week. And this is on CBR.com. I'm just gonna read this off about. Uh, there's supposed to be a NeverRealm Studios community reveal event on the 17th, uh, 2019. So that should be this coming weekend. I think that's Friday. So that's all good. No, that's Thursday actually. So that's even better because you'll get the reveal before the weekend. Um, hopefully, since they're saying that this event will have um, actual gameplay, uh, hopefully we'll get to see um, you know characters in action that we haven't seen before. Hello. So, uh, yep. yep. Work stuff. All right. Yeah, so more County 11. Yeah, they actually are doing. I was just watching this YouTube like story on all the Mortal Kombat. So yeah, she had like a full story on the different gameplay and everything like that throughout the whole series, even uh -huh. even the side series and shit like that. They were actually really interesting. I, I'll send you the link of them. They gave you the whole story of when they built the games and all that shit. You ask, did you ever watch the show? The real life show? The live action show? Uh huh. It was terrible. Yeah, it wasn't good. It was it with Kung Lao. Like, episode. Kung Lao was the, the yep. main character, right? Yes, he I was. remember that. I remember the tr terrible animated movie, too. Um, the ter mm. I remember the show. I don't remember the movie. I remember the terrible animated movie that it went, it went, through, it went to, like, a computer-generated when Scorpion and Sub-Zero fought. Oh, no. It was I, bad. No, somebody showed me some of that. Yeah, it's not good. You know what No Comet did have? They actually had an okay comic book. Really? Not the Malibu one, right? Yeah, it was actually not bad of a comic. The Mortal Kombat one was actually pretty good. Now tell me, because wasn't it drawn by the same guy that did Street Fighter Malibu? Yes. Okay. But they had they had more leeway to use the Mortal Kombat characters than they had Street Fighter. Understood. But why did they have to kill Ken? They killed Ken. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> yeah, they sent they sent Ryu his hair. His hair. Oh my god. His scalp. <laughs> his bloody scalp. Oh man. But yeah, I, I was just recently watching this. I'll I'll try to forget the YouTube person's name just so I can give him credit. Because okay. it was actually a really interesting story. I mean um, listen, but... MK is if you want to get into the lore, it is pretty interesting and deep. It's just not every game did it justice uh the youtube channel is 616 entertainment mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the videos were the history of mortal kombat he has uh i think it's six parts or five parts five okay. parts and it goes from mortal kombat one two and three to uh four five four five and six to armageddon and marvel uh, and the dc one to the side one which was like sub-zero the Sub Zero game, the Buddhist, the monk game, the Shaolin monks, mm -hmm. and things like that. So it gives you the whole story, history of it. It's actually, it was actually pretty good. Yeah, good. I like the informative view on that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because well, they had some terrible, terrible side. Yeah, that Sub Zero game was absolute trash. That, yep. that uh, what was the name of the one? The, the Jacks, the special, special Forces. forces. Oh, wow. That was terrible, too. How'd that even get made? See? That was even Boon. Boone, uh, Boone had nothing to do with that game. I, I just wish somebody would have said no when they even asked. That was no. just... Damn. Like, stop it. Like, what are you doing? But, um... Yeah, let me just give him the, the information about the actual date. I mean, the day, because it's supposed to be uh 17th, but the time is going to be 11 a.m. 11 uh, Pacific time. Yeah. So that's, you know, West Coast, 2 p.m. Eastern. Yep. And that's where they're gonna have the hands-on demos. And I guess it's gonna be a live event. A live event. That's invitation only in LA and one in London. And yeah. I saw one of the dudes. Shout outs to uh, Unruly. Um, one of the homies on Yo Video Games. He got yeah. his his uh, invitation. You wanna know who else got an cool. invitation? Hmm. 
You know on in the who else? Xavier was in Kofi Kingston. Oh, they both got one? They're gone. Why, They'll be why there. Why Kofi Kingston get one? That's funny. Because they, they were part of the connect they were part of uh the first demo of Mortal Kombat Ten. Interesting. Kofi yep. Kingston was it? Wow. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. When they first demoed the uh, Mortal Kombat Ten, uh with Sasha and Bailey, Kofi Kingston was there as well. Did Sasha and Bailey get one too? I don't know. Oh, they go back. I know Xavier and Kofi are gonna be there. Good. He should take Biggie just because they can. Yep. Who's gonna tell him no? Nobody. <laughs> if he walks in there, he's like, nah, I'm with him. All right. Huh. Um, also, the shout outs to the football player that got the, the, the penalty for doing the Biggie taunt. <laughs> to the Ralph. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, I, I posted that. it on tweet, Twitter. Yeah. Like, that was, that was low key awesome. Like, how you gonna yeah. do that? <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, you know, shout outs to Ed Boone because he was out there like tweeting this up when everything was first going out. So again, I'm really happy that MK's like their uh their PR for this game has been top notch because yeah. ever since the trailer, like they've been releasing some new tidbits and information about what's going to be going on with this event. So uh, like I remember when it was revealed. It felt like it was going to be forever, but it's, it's almost here. It's this week, so that's cool. Um, who do you think is going to be in MK11? From what I'm you looking... Like, give me um, one of your most anticipated, and then that you want. I mean, because you can't say Scorpion, you know he's in it. Um, but the character that you most actually want, and the character that you think they might be putting here as, as a surprise. Batman. <laughs> well, that's that's your want or surprise or. Well, I'm looking at Ed Boon's thing right now, and his picture is Scorpion and Batman. No, he's a troll. He's a troll. <laughs> no, I'm not but, lying. I'm not even. But lying. I'm thinking about it. I'm like, I would like to see Batman in Mortal Kombat. This would be the first time they get away with it if they do it. You know that, right? Yeah. Because they've never been able to put DC in a game of fatality. So that was a strict thing. Yeah, well, well, injustice. They kind of had their so had that whole game, MK versus DC. But if you look like an injustice, they kind of had fatalities. No, no, but they, there's a rule. They're, like Ed Boon stated when they made that, like there's yeah. something they can't, they cannot do. Yeah, there's they can't do all the blood and the blood and shit. Like the only person who even had one similar was Joker because he had the one where he shot you, yeah. but he didn't really shoot you. Yeah, and it, but then again, they had the he had the Jason Todd whole bar beat down as well. Well, but as long as it's off camera. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm looking at it. Oh, one character I like to see, like, well, I, I mainly played as the ninjas, so Sub Zero will be the next character if Scorpion is shot. It's fun. Can we? It's somebody else. You know he's in the game. Yeah. Um, I don't know. That's not. I want a cool looking new side bot. Oh, okay. I like the new side box, so. Oh, yeah, I thought about that. And then the fact that they gave him a storyline that he was actually the first Sub-Zero. Yeah, but see, they rewrote that history, but then they kept it. Yep. Because they brought it back, because that's what it looks like. Because Mortal Kombat 9 was like a... It went back to... Yeah, original. It didn't even do a reboot. It literally went back and changed the future. Yep. It's now so Raiden, that's actually and now Raiden's here. Now, yeah, now nah, he's a bad guy. Do, do you remember MKX? Yeah. Was there a reason given at the end of that game why he? Oh, won he wants he wants to kill all the gods. He was like, "Fuck this, I'm done. I want to destroy all every single god." Oh, really? Yeah, he just got fed up. He was like, "You know what? I'm been defending y'all. Y'all always want to fuck with me, so yeah, I'm gonna start killing all." Of you. And so, so technically, what he won Mortal Kombat X? Yeah. Oh, shit. And he went heel. He took the dude's head and he threw it in front of the elder gods and it's like Bring it. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Shit. We, yeah. He went heel. He went heel. That's no, I, I I see people point to the pendant on his chest. Mm-hmm. The belong to the who's the guy that, that people don't like? He's a sorcerer. He's a guy in um F. Yeah, that's the one who broke the neck of. Okay. He he uh, ripped his head yeah. off. There you go. Okay, he ripped his head off and shit. But you also see, you can also tell from the trailer because the red lightning. 
yeah yeah evil. he's dark well yeah that's also i'm uh, saying he's he's on top of that he also headbone also let out the the name of the character is dark Raiden, yeah not evil or whatever difference that is i guess that's an end game in universe character dark Raiden. I, yeah. I think he's been in another game before i think they use that type of rating like oh, okay maybe one of the, the past Mortal Kombat. maybe maybe the ones that people stopped playing because there were too many yeah <laughs> the ones on the ps2 remember that yeah oh so maybe he was maybe he's an old school throwback or something but yeah okay, okay. but the, the invitations are cool like again the kofi kingston and the xavier woods got one i just like that the dude uh unruly had made a video like just because he it was a heartfelt thing to him because he's not a big popular streamer or anything yeah it's just that he i guess on a personal level he kind of like touched ed boom because i don't see i don't know if you saw the the yo video games guys a while ago they did like because they work in production yeah so they made a movie okay so like they made some fan movies and like <clears throat> they usually put like the predator um and unruly his cosplay is to be cyrax like he'll be cyrax okay. like the, the the human cyrax i think he has a costume of cyber cyrax which is ridiculous and he has a scorpion which is dope so like he's he, he's hardcore he's one of the really really cool dudes that that's a big fan of the game so like hey man listen maybe someday that cyclone could be an envelope you know what i'm saying yes maybe yep so that's cool. I suck at Mortal Kombat, so hopefully you. <laughs> hey, you at least you ain't gotta be good at the game. Like yeah. God, like just play it. Like that's the thing they they appreciate. That I like that Ed Boon himself. Also, they're supposed to have a I think a celebrity tournament or at least a celebrity fight, and they haven't announced the celebrities there. So I think he's just happy to see anybody play the damn game. Yep, which is good. Yeah, and then there's also going to be the big thing with the DLC characters because uh, the last two games had like a lot of horror movie characters and shit like oh, that. Man. So we'll see what they get. And they're they're backing from Warner Brothers, so that means you can get whoever you want. I would like to see Jason and Freddy in one game, so they can fight. They can fight to Mortal Kombat. That would be great. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> I want to know why they don't have that song, like the license for the song anymore. Like I don't know if they don't or somebody else does. Like what happened? yeah i don't know like, why not like come on such an easy thing to put in at least like at the end or some shit i know because the demo a lot of people bitched about the song i know i know and then yeah. someone remade it with the mortal kombat thing yeah, it was, so it was easily, <laughs> it's just yeah. it is what it is it's not your preference that yeah. is mortal kombat stop it yeah. <laughs> so you know I'm, I'm definitely hyped oh well let me answer the questions i guess the most anticipated character that I would want in the game. Uh, I don't know. I just want to see what they do with smoke. Okay. Or yeah, I want to do. I want to know what they're gonna do with smoke this time. Um, was he in the last game? He was cyborg smoke. In the last game. No, no, board. he was triborg. I think in the last game. I don't even think he had a character in the last game. Yeah, no, he like, was. Yeah, he was. He was, was a he character. A cyborg? Game. No, he was. Um. He was in nine, I remember. I don't remember what he was in. Yeah. yeah, he had like long hair. He had his hair on and shit. Cause I think in in an NK11, that that was he was a part of the Noob Cyber. Yeah. So, yeah, I want to see him as a separate character again. Okay. Um, and who do I think? Actually, you know what? Scrap that. I want my favorite character back. I want Meat back. Meat. Meat. <laughs> meat. Bring back Meat. Hashtag me. Yeah. That's my favorite character from that era of PS2 games. Yeah. I think Cobra's absolute garbage. He's a Ken ripoff. He's garbage. <laughs> um, what's that guy? Kwai. Uh, not the guy. Suhao. The guy with the hat. Okay. He's trash. Totally uninspired design. Borai chose disgusting, but they brought him back. Go figure. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? Like, eh, there's a lot of characters from that era that were real pure garbage. But give me me. He's just a. He's just an inside-out man. That's it. And his style was wrestling. Hey. So he had backbreakers. Like, oh come on, man, this dude is cool. <laughs> and he had a special move where he popped his eyeball out and it tripped you. I love Wait. it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid. Yeah. Um. 
So that's about it for MK. Got anything else, Mark? I um, I actually sat down and I actually got to see Spider Verse finally. Nice, nice. Uh, so sword. I Give loved. your thoughts on that. I loved it. I loved every moment of that movie. That movie was so beautiful, so well done. Um, I love the characteristics of every single Spider-Man. I like the little Easter eggs that if you're not a Spider-Man fan, you would miss. Hmm, okay. Come to a point that in the beginning there was like this the heroic Spider-Man, the one that everyone kind of knows from the movies and shit. That mm-hmm. he when he finally unmasked, it looked like Ben Riley. Ben Riley. Oh, okay. Because he had he had blonde hair, he had blue eyes, and shit like that. So, oh shit, they, they did that in Riley, which was called, talked by Chris Pine. Then he had the older Spider-Man that looked more like the classic Peter Parker, just with no sweatpants. Um, what was that story about? It, it, he was just he he been Spider-Man for so long, and then it kind of ruined his marriage, it kind of ruined everything, and he just been selfish of being Spider-Man that he's just been kind of in a depression. Depressed Spider-Man because he was he, he um, Mary Jane divorced him. Mm, mm. So he, he he was kind of a depressed. Ame died, and Mary Jane. Okay. So uh, Kingpin was hilarious because he was just so big. It's just a big ass head and just so big. Do you and, remember the voice? Uh, it was fuck. It was the guy that played Sabretooth in the Wolverine Origins. Really, Liam Schreiber? Yeah, he Get talked. He, he yeah, he talked Cable. I mean, he talked. He talked Kingpin. Uh, then you had like the female Octopus. If you're a fan of 2099, that's where she kind of origin from. Okay. Um, if you realize the name of the company is uh, 2099 Company Alchemist. Oh, so yeah. it, it was something. It was again. If you're a fan of Spider-Man, you'll catch a lot of these things. That's if you're not cool. a fan of Spider-Man, you'll still be surprised when you actually find out the full things. Some of it. Uh, one thing I was like really like excited. Uh, I was a little sad that I didn't see it was 2099, but you know what? Stay for the credits, and it'll be so worth it. Nice, nice. Um, movie was amazing. I liked the Miles development as a character and shit like that. I liked the suit. I like the different designs they did on the suit and everything like that. It, it was a beautiful movie. It was probably the best one I've seen. I, honestly, it's up there with Infinity War, like my, my top movie of 2018. Even though I saw it 2019. Okay. Yeah, it, it was okay. really good. Uh, really worth watching. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. Um, nice to hear it. Nice yeah, hear it. it was really good. Um, been watching Mighty Morphin Power Rangers because we're getting ready oh, to revamp oh, the first you, season. You, thank you for putting me onto that site. Yeah. And I have been watching like one or two episodes every day of the yeah. original Super Sentai. I oh like it. Oh my lord. It's hilarious. I, I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's a, I'm not even going to lie. It's a little bit more mature than the regular ones. Yeah, they curse. It's a, they... Little, a little darker. Yeah. A little bleaker. Like, so, uh, I like it. I like it. So, so, funny thing with the Money Morphin Bar Rangers going into like going into like why it has to be a certain way because during that time, like any children's show had an had a educational route to it so mm-hmm. pretty much they recorded the scenes of being educational while the Power Rangers and the Super Sentai footage was the action part yeah you, you didn't learn anything in the Super Sentai verse no, no it was just like straight up cra- it was a lot of crazy shit um, I, 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 me, can I yeah. say it reminds me of you know the, the anime um, Saint Seiya yeah where they have like the the gods and stuff and the armor like they, it's like they're ancient heroes and stuff yeah that's what that now i get the similarities between those two okay because they're the ancient heroes from you know their clans or whatever that were locked behind the doors or whatever yeah yeah that really reminds me of that. um I, I again i've been going through both so i've been watching so i'm at right now in money more from i just finished the green ranger miniseries the five episodes of the, the build of the green ranger the funny shit about it, and something that you clearly notice watching it now, is the Green Ranger suit. Okay. And how when you're in the command center, it's all a cheap ass fucking shield, and it kind of a lime green. It was a kind of an off green than the than the one that's Super Sentai. That's a fucking badass looking suit. Mm. Wow. Because uh, in Super wow. Sen- in the beginning of Power Rangers, the first two seasons, again, well, the first season in general the first season was the main one that like they the show was probably like 78 percent super sentai footage and the rest was american acting okay 
as in when I went to season two, season two was a different whole different series in Super Sentai. So they didn't really have the Super Sentai footage. It was just a lot of reused footage from Money Morphin. Understood. Understood. And then, yeah, there was so much reused footage because the whole Zorja show was a whole different, a whole different ranger themselves. Yeah, there were different Zoras that they used to put them all together. Yeah. For the American ones. Yeah, I got you. So, uh, yeah, it's really fun to watch. I really like that. One thing I give a lot of credit to in the, the original Power Rangers is Bulk and Skull. Mm-hmm. Okay. I really love those characters. I think they're... I, I think they're very underrated. I think they're bullied. As much as they're bullies, they get bullied too. Mm, and that was... <laughs> I like the I'm Rangers still. treat them like shit. I'm like, no wonder they want to fight you all the time. Yeah, I treat them like shit. Hmm. I've thought about that. See it from the other side. <laughs> Damn right. But yeah, I've been watching it. So I'm watching the Super Sentai with it. I see the same monsters and how they built it and shit like that. Like, I like the Super Sentai that there was a build to the Megazord. There was like I've... six episodes, too, they got into the Megazord. Yes, there was, there was that. There was also just... The interaction between the, the villains themselves, mm-hmm. it was a lot more personal. Because I, I can honestly say, when you watch the American version, yeah, it very much seems like it's just really yelling at them, and nothing ever. They never have it like, a, like you just get the sense that they all know each other. Yeah, you don't get like how they really feel about. You just get that everybody's scared of Rita. Yeah, but then when you watch the Japanese version, version, excuse me. The toy maker, I forgot what his name is. He just has a nasty attitude. <laughs> like yeah. he always interrupts him. He's like, leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> he's always telling Rita, like, this not ready, go away. Like, I love that. And then the two yeah. bumbling idiots are just the blue one is just dumber. You yeah. know. Yeah. Like they make him out to be like a dog or almost like how stupid he is. And it but I love how <clears> he <throat> interferes. Yeah. In the Japanese one. Because he does it more. Like um, he showed up with the bomb. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, I like. I'm I'm digging both. Like I'm watching both. So what our plan is is watching the first Money Morphin. We're gonna do a review on that, mm-hmm. and then we're gonna watch Super Sentai the first season, the first Money Morphin season. And do a review on that. Okay. You know what? Well, let me try to finish all those Super Sentai. So when you're ready to do the Super Sentai, the Super Sentai look. Yeah. I could be ready with you, and I try to do that one. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's. I like Super Sentai a lot. Like yeah, there's things fun. about it that I like. And then it's very, it's not really, I say it though, it's just more that's Japanese humor that he's like squeezing the boobs of the Pink Ranger and shit like oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get and you. they show our panties all the time and things like that. They do little perverted shit that, that's in that show. Mm-hmm. Um, also, they curse. They say yeah. damn, they yeah, say hell, no. they say shit a lot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? They say shit? They, yeah. I think it's that one, yeah. So those are the things I like about it. Uh, you can tell the Super Sentai footage you know, is more darker, more toned, and stuff like that. But you also got to realize also that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was kind of made in the early 90s. While Super Sentai, the, the Zyri Rangers, which is that's what it's called, mm-hmm. it was made in the 80s. It was like 86, 85, uh, 86, 87. Okay, wow. So it's kind of a difference in style back in that, that time as well. Hmm. I get you. It's a but, yeah. at the time. I got you. But uh, check out Shop Factory. They have like Super Sentai, Zyru Rangers, all the way to Time Force. For you to okay. watch. Alright. So you have to buy the DVDs, go just watch them. Hmm. Um, that's where I've been watching and I actually been catching. I've been liking it because I like the cheesy song music in it. Like I like the ending credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I, I like the intro though. I the dude's like the, the dude's like dancing on the fucking the Mastodon shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I like fun. silly. Sh- I like this campy shit like that. So mm-hmm. I think I, I think that's why I'm enjoying the Super Sentai a bit more. I am enjoying Mighty Morphin as well. Just the fact that I do like Mighty Morphin a lot for what it was, and I think that's what draws into me. But by story wise, and from the last cast we did with the Best of Rangers, I said Space was my my favorite. Was as in the balance of a story and the the story told throughout the series. I think Space had a stronger story than Mighty Morphin. Okay, I understand. Okay. And that was a big great thing to me. But yeah, definitely check out our cast of uh, the best of Mighty Morphin that was put out this week. Also check out Ninja Steel Review. Nice. On the Morphin cast. Do it. Yes. But yeah, I'm glad you like your Super Sentai. That, that, that site is fucking dope. Yeah, it's great. 
It's awesome. Now, what I, my goal is, I'm trying to find a, the American Common Writer. Okay. And I'm trying to find a site that has the Common Writer series in Japan. Hmm. All right. Because Common Writer is so good. I remember seeing Japanese Common Writer, and that shit was fucking amazing. And if you watch the current ones now, they fucking have some crazy ass morph sequences. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I'm, that's I'm that's the goal. That's what I'm gonna look at. Look for. I, I, there's a chance that the Shop Factory actually has them on there, and I just gotta look at it. Hmm. I understand. Yeah. I understand. The Shop Factory is a Canadian site. It's like, a, it's, and they get all those shows the Canadian right, and so they get able to stream it there. Oh, that's awesome. So, I mean, listen. Um, again, thank you for showing me because, yeah. like, that's pretty fucking fun. Just a so, trip down memory lane of memories that I never had. So. <laughs> So the, your next series after my Morphin and the Super Sentai, which is Zyru Rangers, the, is the Dungan Rangers, which is the, the Thunderzords. Yes. Okay. Cool. So that's two. Season three is the Alien Rangers that you know in America. Mm-hmm. That's when the one when they got the Shogun Zords and shit like that. That that was their Zords. The Shogun Zords. Gotcha. Understood. So those are the three seasons together that made the Super Sentai. Those are three different seasons that they made all into Mighty Morphin. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, I've been watching that. I've been enjoying it. Um, that's just like a little update with that. Um, yeah. What else you got? Uh, just before we go, just wanted to say, uh, damn it, Bethesda, you done did it again. <laughs> uh, before I go, I just wanted to, you know, bring back the dumpster fire that is the story. That is Fallout 76. Um, one more piece of trash to throw on the fire. And this is super recent. The story is, let's just get this right. The story is 16 hours ago from Engadget, which is, you know, very, very beloved tech site. Um, so what happened now? Fallout 76 players found a secret developer room and Bethesda is now suspending anyone who enters. <laughs> it's just... Like, this is just the worst of the worst. So, usually in video games, I guess particularly in PC development and a lot of PC games, um, developers have a room somewhere in, in the game where they can test out all types of stuff. I guess that's an easy game. I don't think it's particular to that. But, um, so people found the one that exists within Fallout 76. The problem is everything is in that room and when i say everything that means things that they wanted to charge you money for yeah like some i think there's like weapons in there i think there's uh even access to skins i don't even know how you do that like there's a bunch of stuff in there that's not that's not supposed to be accessed basically uh there's a few videos you can check them on youtube the thing about that is if you watch the video, odds are that that person has already been banned. I don't know if you can, I don't know how easy it is to make another account with that game. I don't know. Yeah. But supposedly, if you enter that room, Bethesda is straight up banning you. They can check your data just to see if you access that room, which again, people were getting a little pissed off about. But they can check your data. But let's, let's when you sign them EULAs, when you click yes, because you want to play the game fast and you don't read all that stuff, guess what? They can do what they want to do. Sorry. That's the world we live in. But, so, because people find this room, the other is banning people, and I guess rightfully so? I don't, I don't know how to feel about that, because I understand you, you are able to take things you got in that room out of that room. So you can potentially trade um, weapons that the Bethesda wanted you to pay money for, but neither of you pay money for them. So that's basically stealing? I don't... Like, I don't know how that works. But I guess the only way to get in the room is to hack. Now, like I said, there are a bunch of videos, but uh, you can check those out to see exactly how it is. But this is just another another fire, another, you know, another bit of coal to, to add to that fire that is the smoldering, smoldering carcass that is Fallout 76. Jesus, could you please put it out of its misery? <laughs> but does the stop it? Just make the game free. You fucked up. Yep. You know what I mean? At this point? Why don't you just send Fallout 4 to everybody? For free? You know people don't like Fallout 4. 
Send off like, Fallout 3. One, yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. No, send off Skyrim free. Yeah, there you go. Send off Skyrim free. Even though everybody in their grandmother has it because it's so popular, eh, give them another copy. Yeah, just ask them what co- what system do you have it on and give them the opposite. Ah, but I don't own a PS3. Last time. But I don't own an <laughs> Xbox One. Here, here's an Xbox One copy. It's on the Switch. Get on the Switch. I don't own the, but I don't own the Switch. That's too bad. You check the box. But the Mobis worked on it too, so you would uh, get yeah. items from it. Is there a Dovahkiin amiibo? No. No? Is there a dragon? Nothing? No. They didn't make any? No. Ooh, but that's a... Stop slacking. Slack. Anyway. Um, again, like I said, it's not to kick them while they're down, but it's just like, I can't believe this is real. And I'm it's progressed into the next year. I'm really surprised in how, how much of a failure this is, especially from Bethesda. Like, Bethesda is known for their games and the quality of the games, at least. And that, that that's just like, wow, really? Yeah, but it's just like, oh man, I get that the way to get to the room is technically hacking, but like, I don't know. It just sounds wrong when there's like, oh, well, we found another way and the game got another loophole here and people are doing this and that. And now there's, you know, just this more nonsense going on in, in this world. Like, I, it just sounds bad. I get that they justify it. It just sounds bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Here's one more trouble with Fallout 76. Yep. Um, I just say make the game free. <laughs> yeah, you wanna, no, you know why I say that? Because they want to charge so much for DLC. Like when you go to check the rates and stuff of what it would equal to real money, man, they overcharge for the simplest shit. And I don't know if people are buying it or not, but god damn, they're getting away with robbery. Yo, this is like Oblivion all over again with the fucking... Don't say horse armor. Fifteen dollar horse armor. Oh, <laughs> shit. Fifteen dollar horse armor. Damn, it it didn't do horse. shit. <laughs> it didn't do nothing to your horse. Did it protect? Did it give you any defense? No. no. It, it just made him shiny. That's it. Damn. You paid for textures, homie. Yeah. Wow. All right. Listen. That's that's really bad. So I guess you should be used to it. That's not right. No, because Fallout Three and Fallout New Vegas they had consequential DLC. They had very good DLC. To see that the predecessor to Four is this train wreck just kind of sucks, you know? Yeah. It makes you want to look forward to Fallout Five, but then it kind of makes you not because you. I I didn't forget. I'm not stupid. I heard that. Like I should play that clip of that guy Todd just joking about his his own fan base. Oh, I heard that our games have glitches and that that terrible audience laughing in, in the background. Yeah. Like, you know you guys have fucked up games. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and the community is the one that fixes it a lot of the times. Cut it out. Like, damn. Oh, shit. All right. Um, Before, like, just I'm just looking at the shout back, the shout, um, TV website, the Factory mm-hmm. TV, and this is what is. One, they have a, a, a show called The Guardians, which is like a terrible looking Avengers. <laughs> Beyond that. Oh shit, is that? Is that? It is! It, it's it's that wrestler. It's a Russian action movie called The Guardians. I, okay, I know exactly what this is. This guy is in it. Fucking Valvir, what's his name? Um, he fuck fuck. What's his name? He was a wrestler. Um, he lined up fucking tag teaming with uh with with um with um. Ah, I hate it when I can't say. It. It's not. Oh. It's not. It's not Kozlov, right? He's not the guy that was like later. Yeah, Kozlov. It is him. Okay, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, he's in this movie. Really? And there's a bear man and and a, a guy that looks like kind of like the work. Called Guardian. It was like a Russian action flick. Like, I actually heard it was actually really good. Okay. Gotcha. All right. But anyway, they have a memorable thing to Mean Gene, and they actually have classic wrestling with Mean Gene Oakland, with Glow, with uh, oh, wow. Star Wrestling, and all that stuff. So yeah, that's kind of cool to watch. Interesting. I will check that out. I did not know he he announced for Glow. Uh, I guess so. Holy shit. 
Huh. I'm, I was I was actually just looking for the Super Sentai and uh, the other ones they have on here, and that that, that just came up. Interesting. All right. Yeah, Shop Factory. Give me some Super Sentai. Awesome. Awesome. Um. All right. Well, that's it. I'm not gonna harp on this stuff too long. Uh, thank you for listening. Yes. You can catch us everywhere. Press Cyclonic. Yeah. Uh, that's Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Facebook. And YouTube, also SoundCloud, all, house. all, and WordPress, all Red Side Clothing. No it's excuse. Your house. Yeah, that's it. Oh man. Or your house. We're gonna wait for you and have you listen. We need to bring back that WF in your house. I'm just saying. Oh, they have yeah. Ultraman on here. Hmm? Excuse oh. me. Wow. Dude, if they have Mass Rider, not Mass Rider. They have any of them. Those, um, what do they call Common Riders? Do they have the Common Rider stuff? Do they? No, they don't look like it. Because that's like the one series I am very, very much not aware of anything story wise. So, Common Rider was Mask Rider in America. Like that's what it, what it came from. Mm-hmm. Um. So the one that you saw was Mask Rider that was on Channel Five for a little while and shit. What's but I show? know Tanahashi. That's what I want to see. Yeah, but Common Rider actually had an Americanized show. It lasted for like three years and then it just didn't catch on because just during that time not a lot of kids were watching cartoons like that so it didn't catch on with the, the power ranger like elements that it had gotcha but oh, they did oh. have an american series for a while and that actually did pretty well it was actually pretty good i, I remember watching it so so, was, so with that said what's the japanese equivalent like a name is it common it's not common right it's, it's, common. It? it's called common it writer okay the, in America, it was it was Mask Rider, Mask with the change. Okay. But uh, over there is Common Rider. But then when they brought it back in two thousand eight, it was called Common Rider. And okay, so they just gave it up. All right, gotcha. And last, it was three seasons. It was two thousand eight, two thousand nine, two thousand ten. Now, yeah. do they have that on any network? I'm looking. I am looking. Like that's the one of, that that I would you know definitely like to check that stuff. Out. I will find it. And then I will let you. Wait, know. so what's the name of this website you just told me about? The one with the Power Rangers and stuff? Oh, Shout Factory. Factory. That's the one I showed you. Shout Factory. That has. All right. that has so, all yeah, make stuff. sure y'all check out Shout Factory. You even have um, the Weird Al show. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, what you got, Mark? Uh, follow me on uh, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. Uh, Twitch, I'll, I'll be doing some Soul Calibur and some Spyro the Dragon again. Um, also planning to do the more of the the Fist of the North Star, and I'll, I thought about doing a whole review of the Xbox Game Pass. Oh, nice! So nice. I'll probably give you a full intake of what they have and what's good and what's not, and I'll give you like the reviews of certain games that you may that are on there and, and what's the overall how many good games are on there. Okay, I think I'll do something like that. So that that'll be a good thing. Um, yeah, so Twitch, uh, Mark Mike, uh, YouTube, also Mark Mike. The videos will go right in there after I finish with Twitch. Um, and follow our Wrestling Babble podcast. That's it. Babble and the rest I can work on Facebook. Good, good. So, again, you have the information, no excuses. Um, as for Wrestling Babble, a bunch of demos came out, so I'll be putting up some God e- God's Eater 3. How is that game? I will tell you after I play this demo because I have, have not got a chance to play it and I will be also checking out the Resident Evil time demo like I've seen how to get through it so I want to see if I can you know, do it. I want to see if I can fuck with the game because are you going to have reactions because I don't like to see you jump out your ass no I don't have <laughs> oh wait I have no you can't really record this yeah. that would only go up on PS whatever so well, but, if, you, if you record through like Twitch, you can record through Twitch and stuff through oh, the PS4. And that has oh, a camera. Okay. I just want to see you get scared out of your ass. Yeah, I already saw some stuff. I mean, that's like, God damn, I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. Those liquors look nasty, man. Yep, yep. So, yeah, I'm going to try to put those up on the channel. And um, more Monster Hunter, more Soul Calibur. I'm getting back into it. I dropped off for a little bit from. Uh, Soul Calibur, but I just got back into it. I got my ass whooped by Tira. It was terrible. It was a story mode, Tira. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. She beat the hell out of me. Yeah. I, yeah, I just started playing around with Soul Calibur, so I'll probably get into the story mode very soon. Mm-hmm. 
Let's and then on. the other one, the one that, that you've been playing, I just made a character, so we'll see. Yeah. Right now he, right now he looks like uh the guy, um what's his name, from the villain from um from uh Jungle Fury. Jungle Fury. He was the lion. He he was like the lion. He had like a lion costume. I don't remember his name. Uh, the, 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 da, da, Daku? Daku? He wasn't orange, was he? No, he's black. He was black and gold. No, no, no I don't. He looked like a lion. See, then you say Jungle Fury, and my brain for some reason goes to Tommy's costume. Yeah. And the other one. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot his name, but he was the villain in, in Jungle Fury. That's how my guy looks like right now. Okay. Good stuff. Because yeah, that, that character creation is crazy. So, you can get some crazy. I've seen Ninja Turtles and all types of crazy stuff on there. I've seen Ninja Turtles. Ooh, wee. Why is there a turtle shell in the character select? I mean, in the um, character creation. Why? Uh, Why? They know what you were going to do. Yep. Anyway. All right. Thank you for listening. You know where to find us. So, do it. And so- don't forget, sandwiches and the Jenkins. Yes, follow Jenkins in the sandwiches. He's, he's, in he's, offic- no. he's officially eating sandwiches in Nakatomi Plaza. Yep. Yes. All right, y'all. Peace. Better.